We're in 15 Ushers Island on the Keys in Dublin and it's the setting for James Joyce's short story, The Dead. Arguably the greatest short story in English literature. And of course John Huston recreated the story lovingly in his last film, also titled The Dead. The dinner has just finished. Most of the guests have left and Gabriel is in the hallway. He looks up at his wife and he sees that she's listening to a song further up the stairs. He stood still in the gloom of the hall, trying to catch the air that the voice was singing and gazing up at his wife. There was grace and mystery in her attitude, as if she were a symbol of something. He asked himself, what is a woman standing on the stairs in the shadow, listening to distant music, a symbol of? If he were a painter, he would paint her in that attitude. Her felt blue hat would show off the bronze of her hair against the darkness, and the dark panels of her skirt would show off the light ones. Distant music, he would call the pictures, if he were a painter. Oh, the rain falls on my heavy locks, and the dew wets my skin. My babe lies cold within my arms, but now. And after the song, which was the Lass of Ockram, of course, they headed towards the Gresham, where Gabriel expected an amorous night to finish the evening, to affirm himself and affirm their marriage. A wave of yet more tender joy escaped from his heart and went coursing in warm flood along his arteries. Like the tender fires of stars, moments of their life together that no one ever knew of, or would ever know of, broke upon and illuminated his memory. He longed to recall to her those moments, to make her forget the years of their dull existence together and remember only their moments of ecstasy. For the years, he felt, had not quenched his soul or hers. Their children, his writing, her household cares had not quenched all their soul's tender fire. In one letter that he had written to her then, he had said, Why is it that words like these seem to me so dull and cold? Is it because there is no word tender enough to be your name? <laughs>